What's happening, you kind folks? And so I showed uh, this hat kind of in the beginning stages. I've also made a Skillshare class all about this hat to teach you, you know, step by step and give you all the insight from an artistic craft, you know, draftsman painting level. But uh, it's basically covered with the funky eye puppets in the story of Matsu. There's Raw, there's Eco, there's uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Bob Masu down there. There's an unknown uh, Golden Tatsu, and then there's a great Kabuki and surprises on there. So a lot of the funky eye puppets are featured on this hat, and I did this as a commission for a bass player. Uh, that I met on twitch.tv and he just wanted some Matsu art so I made it all pretty much the Boogaloo's electric symphonic creature band is on this hat but I wanted to uh, explore a quote I've been exploring quotes all about innovation and you know thinking new thoughts taking old you know notions and ideas but combining them together in, in combinations that never been done and you know innovating finding ways that you know suit us and and don't have us coming from fear or concern you know more coming us from just jumping in and having fun being a kid getting out there playing you know get out on the dance floor and do the dance so today I'd like to use a Jeff Bezos quote, and that's the founder of Amazon. And I thought it'd be kind of, you know, challenging because there's a lot of people that are jealous of Jeff and don't understand what he's doing. But on one sense, he brought a lot of quality to our lives and especially artists, someone like me, because uh, Amazon, you can get every artistic tool ever imagined or dreamed about and and then with mediums like YouTube right here, you can come on here and see how someone else used it and get kind of the reviews on it to make your decision to get it. But it makes everything available. But anyway, Jeff Bezos, he said, I believe you have to be willing to be misunderstood if you're going to innovate. And I can talk to from this directly. I mean, I've always been a person that, you know, when it said go right, I go left. Or sometimes I just go straight. Or sometimes I, I change the sign around to make it so I feel more comfortable what my intuition wants to go. But a lot of it is employing what I talk about a lot on the channel is your mental faculties, which are your curiosity, your inward belief, your imagination, right? Your intuition, right? Your wonder, your will to do things, you know, and, and what thinks kind of in the meta world, right? Metaphor. You know, meta is basically to me uh, something that you can feel and get the concept of, but you can't necessarily grasp. So you have to use symbolism or, or a comparison or a simile or something to explain it, right? And so I believe what Jeff is saying here is you got to be able to go out on the limb and you got to have your own vision. So you got to really listen to what's going on inside of yourself and what is that vision and where is that taking you and your life purpose all the way down to what you love to do back to the Japanese term Ikigai or Wu Wei. You know, being all you came to be, constantly learning about yourself more, your strengths, you know, uh, your desires mostly, what do you have passion for, the learning, and you know, just take it to that whole nother level of that reality and just know that you can innovate and take it to the next level. And, uh, you know, you got to become strong to be misunderstood. And also, uh, I start to use it really as a motivator. When I'm misunderstood, I know I'm on the path to doing the originality and uniqueness that I came to be. And, you know, be all I can be, you know, and be who I came to be. And uh, the character Ra right there on the front of the hat, he always said since day one when I started doing the puppetry, he says, you know, just be funky free. And funky means being exactly who you be, figuring that out. That's your daily job. Don't let that music stop. What I like to say in Matsu is the music inside of you. Don't let that stop. Let that originality come out of you and think for yourself and think from. Don't think of in comparison and and all this other stuff just think from and know who you are what you're here to do and most of that can be measured by that you love to do it you don't watch the clock on the wall the time or you don't measure it with you know value of money and material things you just know that that's what you do and if you keep doing it and keep putting that smile on your face you know that it's gonna get done and it's gonna take you to places that you know at one level you can't think about you can imagine 
but you can't think about and if you think of you just kind of get rounded into that kind of you know that circle that you know doesn't doesn't open up for you so definitely put it forward you know and and then the best thing to do that's why i love uh matsu which to me that stands for making art together support and unity and when I do the Matsu, it also brings other people together. And so uh, you're all willing to be a little quirky and misunderstood because you know you're doing something that has never been done before. And uh, I think it's so healthy to get those crews around you and then listen to each other. Stop listening to the outside world. And, you know, know that being misunderstood by the outside world, that means you're going to bring them something fresh and new. And what Joseph Campbell used to always say, bring that boon, right? Bring that boon from that mysterious portal of the world of, you know, that's the heart of living is the mystery of living. Go out there where, you know, it's never been done before and then come back. And, and if people are all stuck and it feels negative and, and it doesn't feel fun, like childlike, not childish, you know, be disruptive. Say, no, 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 we don't got to do it that way. We can do it this way because we all came together. We shared our heart and minds and our innovation and our love. And uh, we can reinvent the world just like Jeff Bezos did. And he still takes criticism of the day. But, you know, I got partnered on Twitch.tv and Amazon owns Twitch.tv. So I give a shout out to anyone that's willing to be misunderstood. So you know you can create a better, fantastical, phenomenal innovation of a world. Thank you for watching the video. I'll talk to you all soon.